Welcome to the simulation. We're about to take on the second highest health boss in Ark Survival Evolved here on the CIE Extension mod, and that is Fenrir. The only boss in the entire game that has more health than Fenrir is the King Titan. Over 1 million health. We're going in with the strongest army ever. I mean, that we have. You'd fit more Karkars in here, but we're not going to need them. Taking three to Nonicus, mate boosted. I'll be on Banshee, number three. Don't ask what happened to the other two. And we have about eight car cars here. I don't know, I didn't really count them. But, here goes nothing. This boss is no joke. This is my second attempt. The first time I tried, I severely underestimated it. And lost everything. If we defeat Fenrir, we get Mjolnir and we complete the CIE extension mod. The bittersweetness to that. I don't want it to be over. Alright. If I can squeeze out of here, I'm going to use all the soups. It is very cold in here. But I have really good fur. We're gonna take the fight over here. Actually, probably be smart for me to buff them. Okay. Too late. But to watch out, those ice attacks can hurt the player. That's why I brought all the stews, all the brews. All right. I don't know why the whistles do not work anymore. That is very annoying. Dude, attack my target. Like, you see this? Oh yeah, look at that health just getting melted. Alright, I will turn off the uh, the numbers so you guys can actually see. And I will get get away from here. Is it fucked? I was going to raise a Rex army because I realized I've never done that in this series, but uh, I wanted to use my car cars. They're from the Paleo Arc mod, by the way. Normal car cars can't go into boss fights. These ones are much smaller, with a little less damage. Ah! Whoa, when I'm frozen, my color changes. Oh, it even froze the car cars! Alright, my screen's even frozen, I can't even look. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Let me out. Alright, I'm gonna turn this on, make sure my health is good. Okay. Oh, is it dead? That was so fast! Let's check that health. Oh, we got Mjolnir, and look, you get a Fenrir from this. It's a 450, because this is difficulty 10. Normally, it's a max level for 150. Uh, I thought I almost would stop. Anyway, that is Fenrir, the final boss of the CIE extension. Look at this area. It's so gorgeous. This is the, uh, the arena from um, Fjordor again. Oh, I forgot. You can use tech in the... I keep forgetting that. You can use tech on the extension mod, any of the boss fights. There's like a gate here. Oh, you can't go. I don't want to ghost inside. I don't want to bug anything out. Ooh! This is a mutagen! Oh, too late. We did it! Hold on, let's throw up Fenrir. Um, first, let's just get everybody cryo. How much element did we get? I had some on me. 
I'm not sure. But that's Finrear and the final boss of the CIE extension. This has been such a great mod. I'm sad for it to be over, and I, I do apologize for not showing enough of it. Because I got it in my head that people only want to see certain things, and I didn't like certain boss fights, certain progressions. And actually, those videos seem to get the least amount of views. So, I wish I would have showed more of the 500 element, and look at that trophy. Oh, that looks insane. We'll try it over there at our trophy area, which I haven't showed you guys yet, so let's go right over there. Uh, it's still a work in progress, like everything in this series. Oh yeah, look, this is where I store all my trophies at. It's a, been a little side project. I'm going to put the heads all around here, but it doesn't look like I'm going to finish it. Especially since I had to uh, do some of those bosses again to get the trophies. Um, and use some spares that I had. I have some in here. But, yeah, let's check out the trophy for Finrear at least. It's just... I don't know. There we go. Oh, oof. So this is really difficult to place, but there it is. How beautiful is that? Terrifying, I love it. It's a little high up, but it's fine, because this is probably the last time we'll see this area. Uh, but let's check out Finrear. Ooh, you got some green. Oh, you look so intimidating. Look at that, like, snarl. Awesome. So what can you do? Alright, 268 damage. 179, mate boosted. Alright, so damage is like, alright. Nothing crazy. Let's left click. What was that? Right, what about C? Ooh! Oh, that's cool, and I got armor! What's it do? Increase the armor of frozen fur, inflicts return damage to attackers, and grants freeze immunity. The cost of stamina. Ooh, it looks so good! Can I just keep this on? Right, anything else? Let's see, crit. Crit? No? I don't know what that does. Okay, so something's charging down there. On the bottom left. It's charged now. I'm gonna try it, see what happens. I guess it's just like a charged fight that you can occasionally do. Maybe it freezes? I'm curious if we have that freezing attack like the boss did, kind of like the mana garmer. That's another creature we didn't get around to taming. I rushed the series. I, d I thought ASA would drop, so I kind of rushed everything. Next series, I won't do that. Especially on ASA, I'm going to take a chill. Now. If I hold it, does anything happen? Alright, so you got a bite, you got like a freeze bite, and then you have this armor, which is really cool. You can just turn that off, right? You click C and it goes away. Oh, that's nice. I like that freeze. Oh, and you can do like the really fast traversing like you can with the original wolf. The dire wolf. I didn't even get around to taming these big guys. I really wanted to try one, like, max mutated, see what, how much a chomp would be. Oh well. There is a, uh, there's another map being worked on that I can't talk about. But, maybe I'll try it on one of those. Either way, this is the Finrear. We're gonna see how much it costs to clone it. Leave me alone, what'd you take? What did that take? Okay, I was making sure it didn't take Finrear. And there's- this is Mjolnir. Wait, did I get two? 
How do I have two? That's weird. Okay. Um, so I'm not even high enough level to use this. I do have it, since I do have all the ascensions now. You see, Master Controller and all that. Uh, I had a video planned for that, but that wasn't really a big deal. It's just going to the terminal and clicking a button. I'll show you here. Is this what happiness felt like? I wouldn't know. Is this what happiness felt like? But yeah, that's all. That's really it. We There was no big fights to that. So we do have all the ascensions, and those are required. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, so all the explorer notes, most of the ascensions. You have to be level 190 to use this. We're not there yet, so what we're going to do is we are going to breed our cars and kill their babies for levels. So I will see you guys in quite a bit because it takes forever to level up. Even with... Whoa, what just happened? Even with this busted, like, breeding and all these eggs, it still takes ages to level up at this point. So I'll hit 190, I'll come back to you guys and we'll try out Mjolnir. Okay, so after killing hundreds of little car cars, we are finally ready to hit level 190. Just gonna throw it in the weight. Now. <laughs> Look at it! Oh, you hear that? Very faint, but it's got like some... You can hear the electric on it. What's that look like? Cuts through metal and armor when infused with element and supports a charge attack. Equipping requires learning this. Okay. Does it say what else it can do? So if I like remove the skin? I think it's overlapping with my um, my gloves. Oh no, it's not. I'm gonna see if it changes the animation though. Oh, that's cool. Oh, what was that? What am I clicking to do that? There's definitely more to this. Okay, so I'm hitting crit and it's doing that like it's shaking it. I don't know if it's supposed to be doing some kind of damage. Let's go find some creatures to try this out on. Uh right here. Oh, there. It looks amazing. Jeroboas, sure. Oh, that's gonna be terrible. Oh! It does a little damage, it just keeps... Okay, it doesn't scale. Does it do Torpor? Oh. Hmm. Feel bad for that. Maybe it's percent based, like, on their max health. Okay, let's throw gloves back on, since we know that doesn't make a difference. This is such a well-made mod. Highly recommend trying it out if you haven't already. Oh yeah, so it's percent based on their max health. Ooh, you can do multiple streams. That's awesome. Is that some kind of cooldown? I wonder how high that goes. Okay. So if it's percent based, I wonder is it like really good against big creatures? So we're gonna go find a titanosaur. Or titans, they're always being used to like test things. Damage. Alright, nope. Oh! There's a DOT! Nice! That's not much. 
Alright, so it's not a Titan killer. <laughs> you can go ahead and just mark that off the list. Sorry, I usually have a Spyglass in my 2 slot, that's why I keep clicking that. But yeah, we did basically no damage to it. So it's kind of percent based, but it seems to cap out at 100. Makes sense, kind of. Not really. I think for that much work to get one of these, because these are in the base game, that they should be just insane. So you got this. Does C do anything? No, just the bag. Got this. I really do like the uh, ability to kind of like punch. Alright, it's a little. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, anyway. Thank you guys for watching.